Welcome to Hungary in New York. I'm Josh Ozerski. I'm a City Search Scout, and I'm here in what I believe is the greatest pizza neighborhood on earth, East Village. Like all the City Search Scouts, I go around, I eat all the best things, and I'm here to bring it to you on the Hungry Channel. Let's eat pizza. So we're starting off at Stromboli Pizza on St. Mark's Place on First Avenue. This is one of the all-time New York go-to late night pizza stops. And this is a definitive example of the classic New York slice. And this is my favorite place in the neighborhood to get it. The thing that I love so much about this pizza, this old time New York slice is, this is simple red sauce and low moisture mozzarella. And the two things merge together inextricably to give this like trademark orange color, the even consistency, the homogenous taste. This is an example of a pizza that does not suffer from extreme tip sag. You can see the upskirt shot here. It's still crisp on the bottom. The cheese isn't coming off. Even though it dips, it's not completely flaccid. Last point about this, it's nice and crispy. Cheese isn't too hot, and there's a little bit of chew in between the cheese and the crisp. Next stop, we're going to have a very thick Sicilian slice of pizza. Let's go. Okay, so this is artichoke pizza. This place is ridiculously popular. It's pretty unique, but the Sicilian slice is like the greatest Sicilian slice in the history of the world. That's the square, thicker slice with a crunchy bottom. Most New York pizzerias have that and the round pie, but this is like the ultimate extreme final platonic version of the Sicilian slice. I'm gonna go get it. Let me point out a few things about this pizza. Look at the opulence of all that mozzarella, the glistening oil. This, the sauce is, this happens to be like a real tart sauce, but here's the star of the show. Look at that. Crunchy, brown, black, oily. I mean, I can't get over how good this pizza is. You know, it's not just the high quality mozzarella, but it's got all this pecorino cheese, the sharp cheeks, uh, the sharp sheep's milk cheese on it. The sauce is so vivid. It's so bright. The tomatoes are so sweet and like, there's all this, you know, fresh basil in there and then they cook the basil on top. All right, let's go try a Midwestern style pizza now at Nicoletta. All right, so our next stop is just two blocks away on 10th Street and 2nd Avenue. This is Nicoletta, Chef Michael White's love letter to Midwestern pie. It's a little bit thicker, it's a little bit stiffer, it's got a different flavor profile with the ingredients, but it's also fantastic. One of my favorite pizzas in New York and a real monument to our pizza diversity. One of the things that sets this pie apart is this has the, what's called the grande mozzarella, which is the highest quality of all the low moisture mozzarellas that's made in Wisconsin. Look at these pepperonis, they're like, they're like as thick as steaks. And the sausage was made for Michael by Pat Mafreda, the, the city's greatest butcher with like this super intense fennel recipe. Mm. Oh my God, all right. The moment I've all been waiting for. Oh. You really see the chef influence because like the sauce is so punchy, but it's all, and like it's acidic too, you know, there's like all the fat, but the acid cuts it. It's so much to the credit of the world's greatest and most diverse pizza neighborhood that we not only do we have all the great New York pizzas and all the great Napolitana pizzas, but we also have the greatest of all Midwestern pizzas. God, what a pizza. All right, next stop, Napolitana Pizza at Motorino. Now if there's one style of pizza that has really been white hot in recent years here in New York, it's the style known as the Vera Pizza Napolitana. And that is a very rigid, very doctrinally defined kind of Italian pizza made in Naples that has a very, very light, very, very crisp crust, very minimal ingredients, and it's done probably as well as it's done anywhere here in New York 
by Matthew Palumbo here at Motorino. I'm gonna eat it now. What we have here is a museum quality specimen of the Vera Pizza Napolitana. You have a very light, very minimal tomato sauce. And this is not low moisture mozzarella. This is mozzarella de bufala. It's very fresh, very soft. It's made from buffalo milk. And it's beautifully tangy, has this incredible flavor, but it doesn't meld into the sauce the way the low moisture was. So as a result, instead of the orange slice, like we saw at Stromboli, this is like a red and white and red and white. Also, wonderful, puffy, light, airy crust as a result of the very thin dough getting cooked at like 900 degrees in this ultra hot oven. I mean, in many ways, this is the opposite pizza to the one we had at, at Artichoke because that was nothing but crusty, and this is nothing but soft and delicate and yielding. I mean, look at this. It's almost, it's like, it's softer than any pita. So that's our pizza tour of the East Village. Everyone different, everyone great, and each one representing six other fantastic pizzerias just in this neighborhood. I'm Josh Ozersky, I'm a City Search Scout, and I'm hungry in New York. Check in on all our other scouts and all of their cities here on the Hungry Channel.